Hello. Hello and welcome to another week at Children's Church. Woohoo! Woohoo! It is the second week learning about our new topic, forgiveness. Oh yes, and we looked at the unmerciful servant last week. I thought that was a great story to see how the father forgives us uh, and how that unmerciful servant actually went and did uh, the opposite of what the king had just shown him, uh, just to show actually how God's forgives us and how we can be slow to forgive others. Um, and what's forgiving? What is forgiveness? Uh, it is deciding that when someone's wronged you, they don't have to pay. This week we are learning about Zacchaeus, but first, shall we play a game? Yeah, okay, I like games. Okay, the aim of this game is to have the lowest card possible. Aces are high, so you need to be the lowest of the low. Okay. Okay, so pick... Is, is there a limit on how many people can play? No. Great. Pick a card. Okay. Are you going to do a magic trick? No. Oh. Do you know a magic trick? No. Pick oh. a card. Show them at home. Here we go, everyone. There we go. Okay. Now, do you want to yes. keep that card? No. I want to change it. You want to swap it? Yes. Okay. So, this is your one swap. I get five swaps. You get one swap. Swap one of five. And I'm going to pick one. Okay. You're going to swap. I'm going to stick. Are you ready? Okay. Three, two, <gasps> so you one. A three! Oh, oh I had a four! I had the same. What's so that? You Diamonds. you are the lowest of the low. I'm the lowest of the low. Oh, my goodness. So you can do as many rounds as that as you like, bring in different people, have your adults play, do it with your brothers and sisters, or, or we're allowed to be a little bit more social distance in our gardens as well, so you can do it with a wider family too, if they're around. So give it a go. But what's the point? Lowest of the low. Why am I the lowest of the low having the lowest card? Well, actually, Zacchaeus, uh, according to some people in the community he worked in, he would have been seen as the lowest of the low. He had a high position as a tax collector in Jericho. And uh, he wouldn't have been liked for that because he would have abused that power to get more monies for himself. So he was a very rich man and people didn't really trust tax collectors. Another reason for him being lowest of the low, he was actually a really short man as well. Like shorter than me. Most of you have seen me in real life and I'm not very tall, am I? But Zacchaeus was shorter than me. And uh, he'd heard about this guy, Jesus, coming to his town, Jericho. So he wanted to see him. So he ran ahead and he climbed a tree and... Uh, he was changed by meeting Jesus. Jesus called him out of the tree and he wanted to have food with him. And uh, you can see in the video in a minute that's going to come straight after this. You don't need to drop out and, and watch it. It's going to come on just now. The whole story of Zacchaeus, where you can think about actually when we forgive someone, it changes them. That's the bottom line for this week. Forgiveness can change people. Here's the video. Enjoy. Don't climb trees. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. And now for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Luke, chapter 19, verses 1 through 10. Few people in the town of Jericho were more disliked than Zacchaeus. Is it my personality? Something I said? Wait, it's because I'm vertically challenged, isn't it? Zacchaeus was very short. I call discrimination. In fact, you might even say he was a wee little man. Stop that. Now, his height wasn't the reason that nobody liked him. Zacchaeus was a chief tax collector, which meant he gathered all the money that people owed to the Roman government and kept a little something for himself. That will be five gold coins. Five gold coins? Last year it was two! In fact, Zacchaeus became quite wealthy, taking more money from his neighbors than he was supposed to. The Romans keep you safe. You should appreciate it. The Romans? You're the one using all the extra to build that fancy house. You still owe five gold coins. Fine. 
Next. What's this? A chicken. I can see that. Your family owes two gold coins. We don't have any money. Just a few chickens. Highly irregular. Bring me two chickens and we'll call it a deal until you get me the money. But we need the egg. Two chickens. One morning, the streets of Jericho were busier than usual. Crowds of people began to stream past the spot where Zacchaeus was collecting money. Hey! You owe a tax, and you owe a tax, and you owe a tax! Where's everyone going? Jesus is coming! What? Where? He's on his way to Jerusalem for the Passover! When will he be here? Oh, like you care! You're too busy cheating people! Hey, I'm just doing my job! Even Zacchaeus knew about Jesus, the amazing teacher who was healing sick people and welcoming outcasts and little children. And as he saw this crowd surging down the road, he too felt compelled to see Jesus, so he joined the throng. Ooh, watch out! Zacchaeus managed to squeeze past the crowds to the place where Jesus would pass, but all he could see was a sea of legs and arms and backs. Maybe if I jump! Ouch! There he is. He's coming! Oh, wow! He's coming. It's really him! I can't see believe Jesus. it! Zacchaeus was shoved back to the side of the road and found himself smashed up against a branching sycamore fig tree. That's it! Desperate, Zacchaeus grabbed the lowest branch and hauled himself up. I, I gotta start working out again. <sighs> limb by limb, Zacchaeus struggled up the tree. He saw a crowd of people coming his way. And there was a man in the center of that crowd who seemed unfazed by all the chaos around him. He surveyed the crowd with compassion in his eyes. That must be Jesus. Zacchaeus inched out on his branch a little further for a better view. At that moment, Jesus stopped and stared right up into the tree. Zacchaeus felt his heart beat hard. Zacchaeus! Zacchaeus nearly fell out of the tree. How does he know my name? Come down at once. I must stay at your house today. <gasps> Jesus knew Zacchaeus' name. He knew about every wrong thing Zacchaeus had done, and yet he decided to look past all of that and invite himself to dinner. Yes, yes, Lord, I, I, I'm coming. In that moment, Zacchaeus stopped worrying about his height or how foolish he looked. Swinging from the branch, he dropped awkwardly onto the ground, right in front of Jesus. Uh, uh, please, uh, have dinner at my home. Zacchaeus rushed ahead to prepare for Jesus. On the way, he invited anybody else who would come along, uh, tax collectors, people who had done wrong things. Many in the crowd followed along, shocked at what Jesus had done. Jesus is eating with sinners. What's up with that? Zacchaeus simply didn't care what others thought anymore. Spending time with Jesus was changing him from the inside out. He stood up at the table where Jesus and the other guests were having dinner. Look, Lord, here and now, I give half of what I own to those who are poor. And if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I, I will pay it back four times the amount I took. Jesus smiled as he looked directly at Zacchaeus. Today, salvation has come to your house. You are a member of Abraham's family line. The Son of Man came to look for the lost and save them. Zacchaeus followed through on his promises. Uh, excuse me, sir. What do you want now? I took three extra gold coins, so I'm paying you back. Wait, what? With 12 gold coins? Like, for reals? Wow! Zacchaeus paid back everyone. Back here! Quick! Take them all! Eight chickens? Ah, they're so cute! Yep, Zacchaeus had become a completely new person on the inside, all because Jesus chose to forgive all the wrong things Zacchaeus had done. worship playlist for you there too so you can have your worship time however you want that to be and we have got a new song about forgiveness we do it's called lift up my voice uh, and that's what we can do to god isn't it whenever we sing but this song is lift up my voice again the video is going to come straight on have a watch have a read of the words 
have a have a jig, try and do the dance moves they do, uh, and enjoy the song. But just remember that this is a song that can focus on us thinking about forgiveness. See you next week. See you next week. Bye bye. You are above every other. Your love amazes me. You created every beautiful color for everyone to see. I want the world to know. I want my life to show just what your love has done for me. Love has done for me. In your love, I'm free.